Well, well, well. So, kids, uh, it's going to be a fun little bit here. Um, so, here's the thing. Okay. We got the Dokkan now right here. Now, I do think that there is kind of a legitimate annoying thing that Dokkan did, which just getting this out right away is essentially clickbaiting, which is like basically what to, like they dropped this international version exclusive info. I, I'll be 100% honest. I don't even know what exactly this is referring to. Um, it could be the, like the, the strong discounts for the global banners um, is, is what it could be. Uh, I, I suppose it could be the Times Square video that they talk about in here as well. Um, but, like, it's, like, I, like this is just, like, click. Like, to me, I think, like, the, the, the major issue that they did right here is this. Is they did kind of, like, bait people in with, like, hey, version exclusive info. Like, you know, I even tweeted, uh, and, I like, going back to yesterday... Like, I, I thought that, like, they could do a super easy A, because the Tianabata celebration on JP right now is is going to have a super easy A, right? All the content for the super easy A is going to be just, like, or, or all the content for Tianabata is just going to be in limbo on, on Dokkan. So, like, I figured that, you know, they could start peppering some of that in. Um, we could get the super easy A, like, that could be something that they would do here. But at, there's not actually any info, like, 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 okay. So, they did... Let's just skip to it. Let's just skip to it. Because this is the biggest screen right here. I, I think there's tremendous amounts of confusion right now. And, I mean, I... I okay. I told y'all that just because, like, the sync is... I've been saying it all year. That, like, worldwide, like, they're, he's going to come out on stage... And he's going to say, we're synced now. And then there's still going to be characters missing. And then it's like, we're, we're going to have to figure out what's going to happen with those characters. And, I mean, that's what we've got here. I, I'm seeing a lot of people say, well, it's not a sync then. Sure, it's not a sync. It's the unification of operation schedule. But what they say at this part of the video is that starting with the worldwide download celebration, everything is going to come to global and JP at the same time. So, you know, we're going to get, let, let's just say that the part one LRs are super, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Baby. Just just for the sake of discussion, those are the Worldwide Download Celebration part one LRs. Starting with those characters, everything is coming to Global and JP at the same time. But it also means that there are missing releases and missing content as well, which is not on Global yet. And we don't know when that is going to come. And that's why, like, I've been trying my best to kind of get people ready for this scenario, this outcome. I've been saying for months now, I mean, you can go back. I've been saying, I, I think that there's going to be a lot of frustration throughout the rest of 2024. Once we hit 2025, we move into the 10th anniversary. I think that's when everything should be like, you know, all right, W's, we're looking good. Um, I think everything should be out by then. So there's going to be a couple of missing characters here, right here. So, Dokkan Fast Stellar UI Goku, the Tanabata Carnival Part 2 banner, likely Jiren, but we'll see. Uh, Dokkan Fest Topo and the July 30th Dokkan Fest. Oh, actually. Oh, I. Well, hold on. I, we should probably make a little edit here. Dude, I'm a silly villi. Wait a minute. I forgot something. We're going to do a live edit right here. I seemingly forgot to put LR Cell Max, who is also on there. I don't know what, what, I, what, what was I thinking. Why didn't I put LRSL Max right there, dude? Can it? Is it? Yeah, let's see the latest. Let's see the latest post. So this right here. So LRSL Max is also in there. So we have UI Goku. Here, hold on. Yeah, I'm a silly billy about that. But okay. So yeah, so Dokkan Fest, Stellar UI Goku, the Tanabata Carnival Part 2 banner, probably Jiren. Um, LRSL Max, Dokkan Fest Topo, and then the July 30th Dokkan Fest. So these five you know, summonable characters, Dokkan Festival exclusives, you know, Yellow Coin LR in Cell Max's case, Carnival LR and likely Jiren or maybe Hit, um, and then the July 30th Dokkan Fest. Typically, I mean, what was that? A couple of years ago, it was Super Vegeta, um, Pan, and Super Trunks are the last three years of that time slot. 
Uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan was four years ago, by the way, which was, a, you know, a god-tier release. So, I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, I would think that something like Dokkan Fest Krillin or something like that is possible. Um, there would, of course, be a banner unit for UI Goku. That's Dispo. Um, Topo has one, Catapesla. And then the July 30th Dokkan Fest would have one as well. There is also a minor banner that's not really, I think, as big of a deal. And the characters could literally just come in at any time. And that there will be a Peppy Gal Part 2 banner um, in August. But, again, that doesn't, I, I, like, I just don't think that, like, is, like, relevant in any way. Like, that that type of stuff could just come in. Last year, it was Mamba and Android 18, right? Like, those characters, right? Many years ago, it was Oceanus and Launch. Like, we'll, we'll see with that. So, th this is kind of, like, the main issue. People are very upset. I, I think a lot of it is justified. I do think people are going way too overboard. People are like, oh, my God, we got a review bomb. I, number one, I don't think a review bomb is going to do anything anyway. Number two, I like like what would a review bomb accomplish when they say when the sink is, there are missing characters, and I do think it's very justified that people would be upset about where is LRUI Goku going to show up, right? Like, people aren't upset about Topo. They're upset about this guy, like this guy, or Cellmax, like not being out. Like, I, I fully understand that and get like frustrations about this guy not being out but all the stuff is coming at the very least we do have a direct we, the, the really the only info we got was this screen like the actual major info which is the confirmation at starting with worldwide download celebration part one stuff is going to be same version uh, or both, both versions same time but you know as for those missing releases I, we don't know i mean i i still think that maybe like a christmas banner uh, could be it. Christmas is you, where Global typically gets the anniversary Dokkan Fest LR returns. So, you know, I, like this year it will be LR Broly and LR Beast Gohan would be the returning characters. I think maybe for Christmas those characters will show up along with maybe some missing stuff. I like perhaps it's just going to be like, you know, some of these celebrations are going to happen as normal for Global and JP. And then Global is just going to kind of get like an extra like, oh, like, you know, so what what, what is the, the name that they're going with? It's Supreme Magnificent Battle instead of Supreme Battle Spectacle. Yeah, Supreme Magnificent Battle. Um, so, like, there is one that's out right now on GP, which is, has in it what I think is the new hardest fight in the game. Cell Max might still be a little bit harder, but, I mean, it's, it's they're neck and neck, right? It doesn't really matter too much specifically, I think. Um... But there's one of those that like like where when does that come into global? Like like I, I think that those are more so my questions. I think the characters they could get creative, they could do stuff with tickets, they could do, you know, like kind of like add in these extra characters. But I'm very curious how they're gonna handle missing events, which tan the Tanabata celebration is massive and should carry with it a lot of events. So there should be a lot of missing content that, you know, is gonna need to come in here. Um, so yeah, so again, I, I'm seeing a lot of people here. Let me come back to my tweets because a, a bunch of this stuff, I, 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 I mentioned all the time, but I tweeted it out. So it's easier to pull, pull out right here, right? A lot of confusion on this, but th this is the sink in August. It's just, there's going to be missing characters that we don't know when they're going to show up. Right. But like, you know, the October Dokkan Fest is going to be on the same versions at the same time. Right. At Heroes, I, I would anticipate Heroes is going to get a hero celebration and a banner this year because that stuff is planned a year out. Like, you know, like they, they've already got the Heroes characters pr probably done, like made and stuff like that. Right. So like uh, that, I would say, is still going to be happening. Uh, I'm just going to make that a separate video. I'll go through what people are saying. Um, yeah, and then he seemingly confirms JP only cares when we're coming after the sync officially happens. So, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, there is good stuff in here, though. So, again, at the end, you know, they kind of showed, like, some people's, like, kind of, like, messages and stuff like that. I mean, I love the game. I, I do love seeing this, love people seeing enjoying the game. Uh, people are very upset right now, but, I mean, you know, things are going to be looking good, um, eventually. Uh, they did mention that there's going to be a video at Times Square, which is cool. I... I mean, it would be cool to go see that. Maybe, uh, we'll, maybe I'll do that. But uh, the other thing I did want to touch on. Oh, it's like right here. Yeah, it's so it's right before they showed the sink. Okay, so is this? Uh, 
this is going to definitely be the best banners in history on either version. These discounts, like people are talking about the loss of the tickets and shit like that, which I, I mean, I would argue just is, is worse and doesn't even matter. This summoning system far outweighs any tickets or any previous like global like free shit that you guys have ever had. Like this is w a thousand times better. This is a million times better. And this is why I'm, I spend all year telling players, you know, skip, 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 save for shit like this. I I do wonder if this could carry over into Global and JP after the sync would happen. I, I don't know. But this is like crazy. And, and they do say that these reset. Th this is not like a one-time only thing. That featured, like, guaranteed featured SSR is crazy right there. And, I mean, I don't want to talk down to people, but you guys really should be coming into the anniversary with hundreds and, thou and maybe even thousands of stones. I can't imagine you guys needed to summon for First Form Frieza, LR Ultimate Gohan, Gohan and Piccolo, LR Ribrian, Super Trunks, LR Omega, like all of these nothing releases Global has had all year should have been skipped. I mean, if you wanted to summon for Angel Super Saiyan 3, Goku and Fat Boo, that makes sense. Physical Rose as a global for, hype global first at the time, that made a ton of sense, right? But like you, you always want to make sure you're coming into these major celebrations with huge huge stockpiles of stones if you're not a paying player and even if you are a paying player you should be smart about how you utilize a lot of these stones and kind of save for some of this stuff man um overall i would say i mean tonight is definitely going to be bad i mean people are very very upset uh i i i, I do like th this was pr it just feels shitty and to me, still, the biggest thing is that they really did kind of, like, bait and switch us. Like, it's like, hey, international version exclusive info. I, I assume it's this is what they're talking about. I I but, like, that or them just saying we're going to be synced with Worldwide or the Times Square video is is the only three. So, like, it's, it's got to be one of those. I, I've been kind of, like, I'm talking so much, we didn't even get to shout out my boy Ken right here. They brought on Ken to help Amatsu. I, I do, I mean, people are going to be so mad, at, but, like, I do appreciate Amatsu attempting to, like, like you know, speaking in English and stuff like that. Like, it's, uh, dude, that would be hard to do. Like, you could give me a script and say, here, read the Japanese, here's how you say it, and that shit would still be hard as hell, man. So, um, definitely shout out to him for doing that. Um, but, yeah. I like people are going to be upset about the missing characters. I I feel like a lot of frustrations are definitely justified. Um, it, you know, people are do, doing a little overboard at times, but like I, I get it, I get it. Um, at the very least, we do know when the actual again, I guess not the sync, but the unification of operation schedule is here at the end of August. Um, and then you know, hopefully, at my thing is I really just want to see them get everything in in 2024. Get the stuff in in 2024. Like, just make sure we're going into the New Year's celebration. We're going into 2025 and into the 10th anniversary with all missing content on Global. That should be the prior. Like, as long as that happens, like, it's not that bad. I mean, this is not the end of the world, right? Like, it's like, like, the sync is happening. Stuff is coming. Like, we know it's not like it, like the sync was canceled, right? Like, the 10th anniversary should hit, and this should just be a thing of the past. Hopefully. Um, I, I can't imagine the 10th anniversary is going to hit and stuff isn't going to be out. I saw people mention the possibility of characters coming to Global for the first time when they would have returned on JP. But, I mean, that would mean that, like, LR UI Goku doesn't come to Global Dokkan until March. Saiyan Day, March 18th? I don't know about that. I, I do not think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I think they should get everything that's not on Global on Global in 2024. That's what I think. But let me know what you guys think about the Global 9th Anniversary Dokkan Now disaster. I mean, we know when it's coming, when this is coming, but some of these characters like UI Goku, we don't know exactly when he's coming.